Hi there, I'm Shannon Gregory of Microcell Sciences. We do live and layered blood cell microscopy. This is a video you all have been waiting for. I've been asked what COVID looks like in the blood. Just it's taken me about two years to actually catch COVID to an extreme amount that I wanted to look at my blood. I have taken a sample of myself. Normally, I look at myself very frequently, so I know what I normally have in my microbiome. To see these new pathogens and these new viral components, this is what we're going to look at together and find out what that microbiome shows when you have COVID. I am in day three, so here we go. I have now zoomed in to my blood sample and here on the screen what I witness right away is that my white blood cell isn't active. The nuclei of it is broken and it's definitely under a lot of stress. It's also pretty fascinating as I look through this sample because I had a peek of it before I uh, brought it up on screen here at a lot of the intercellular type of stuff that I'm seeing. So I'm gonna kind of move around. Here's another white blood cell. These guys should be moving like a fish through the sample. It shouldn't be sitting here like that. So that's really intriguing because on a normal basis, my immune system is fairly active. As I keep moving throughout the sample, we're seeing numerous types of different bacteriums. I'm gonna kind of raise my light up a little bit here. I'm gonna keep moving around. I'm gonna keep moving throughout the sample. There's another white blood cell. And we're also seeing a whole bunch of different types of bacterias. I was a little surprised as I started looking through the sample at all the different variations of bacteriums that I did see. But one thing I did notice had the most significant bacteria is a lot of uh, ones that relate to pneumonia. And that was really intriguing. And I did find that a lot of these ones relating to pneumonia were living intercellular inside the red blood cell, which is also very interesting. My blood is also showing a lot of biofilms, um, a lot of things that are moving around in the terrain that generally wouldn't be there. Um, however, as on the good side of things, as I look, my actual cell structure looks great. Um, my stress factor doesn't look too bad. My liver is working a little hard. This just gives us a really good standpoint of some of the things that we're seeing when I'm looking at my COVID sample. Oh, wow. So I've now looked at another sample and we're seeing some good movement throughout the sample, which is great. Um, however, again, we're seeing an enormous amount of bacterial overload in these samples. And it's really, really interesting because I'm also noticing um, a lot of E. coli and a lot of viral indications indicating that we may have some viral activity, which obviously makes sense because of the COVID standpoint. Um, I'm moving around here and I'm and there is a lot less immune system, much lower immune count. And over here we're seeing just a little bit of food not digesting as well as it should. I'm going to keep looking through a lot of different types of bacteria. Again, we're seeing through this sample. One thing we've noticed for the last two years as a company, um, having nine locations, we're able to get a really, really good snapshot of what new we are seeing in the environment and on the COVID standpoint. So as I was looking through this sample, I finally found the most amazing image of what we've been seeing in even a lot of long-term COVID patients because we haven't been looking at people that 
actually have COVID, of course, in office. So what we've been seeing is a lot of people that have symptoms that are still lingering and we're seeing this particular pathogen. So as you see here at the bottom, we've been calling it the boomerang. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have all of the information of what this bacteria is, uh, what it means, how it got, what well, I mean, we know how it got there, but what it's doing in the system and how it ultimately um, evolved into the red blood cells. Did it start there? Uh, so on and so forth. So these are really fascinating to kind of see um, this, this component here uh, because we did not see any of this prior to two years ago and we started getting COVID in COVID vaccinations. We cannot see viruses as we would need a specific electron microscope. However, what we can see in live blood cell is viral footprints and indications. These footprints will be shown by the different kinds of viruses we do see. And we've put the pieces together as to which footprints will point us to certain types of viruses. Here is an image of what we've been seeing with long-term COVID and also now with confirmation of seeing myself day three COVID. Just to go over a summary of some of the things that I found in live blood cell while I have COVID. First of all, I saw an increase of T cells. These are infection fighters. A massive increase of bacteria. Massive increase of different kinds of bacteria. Definitely viral overload and components that relate to um, EBV and uh, noticing that there's some activity in regards to that. Um, and also, of course, a lot more intercellular bacteria and intercellular pathogens that I'm not too sure what they are. But now having COVID, I've put that puzzle piece together for myself and the company. Here's just a simple area that we have a whole bunch of different types of bacterias um, seen floating around, especially ones that are in ears, eyes, nose bacteria. So it's just interesting seeing them moving around so quickly. These are fairly common to see in anybody's sample. Basically, I do tell my clients, if you have a heartbeat, you have parasites. And in here, you're seeing a lot of these bumpy cells in my sample. And these are ones that have eggs inside the red blood cells. So this is a fairly common thing, not necessarily related to COVID, um, but certainly something that causes a lot of digestion disturbance. Um, but we are exposed to them all the time. And we do also see them uh, very commonly in everybody. If this video interests you, Click the subscribe button.